as well as using competition except in competition your feet is flat so you know the flat part of your foot which is this part you can see and in traditional you're kicking with the ball of your foot so that's the only difference between the two but we don't really do the urumawashigeri in traditional karate so as I'm saying it's a bit of a completely new technique so for those of you starting off, the easiest way to basically do it is to stand against the wall, just like this. Let's focus on the one side first. So you lift your leg up. So it's the same movement as lifting up, but instead of up and straight forward, you're going up and around. So around. So we're not kicking on. We're not kicking on the side of the foot. We're kicking on the other side of the foot, and we're kicking them with basically our toes. And remember, in competition, there's no contact. So when you practice, it, try to be as light as possible. So as I was saying, left leg up, and you're gonna go around the front, against the head, and bring it back and down. Okay, so now I'll show you how to do it with the wall. So what you do is lift your leg up, bring it around and tap the wall and down. So up, around, tap the wall and up. I'm kind of making 
came out with dirty. <laughs> but okay, you guys get what I'm saying. So obviously, if you start practicing faster, you'll get the feeling of kicking a wall. Same on the one side. So you go up, around, tap. Up, around, tap. So I know most of you guys probably don't have partners at home to practice with. So for those beginning, this would probably be the best way of learning it. Instead of just doing step up, around. Obviously, the more comfortable you get with doing it against the wall, the easier, the easier it will be for you to do it in a normal kumite example setting. So basically, in kumite stance, that's what I mean when I'm saying setting. Okay, so that is our kumite technique for today.